But dude, you're Good. wasted. No, I'm not. You are, like, truly wasted. Do you think I'm wasted? I do not want to get to know you. You don't want to get to know you. Then mind right. your business and get on I'm not going to mind my business. I'm not going to let you drive like Why? this. You can't even stand. You live fine. two seconds from here. So again, here's the options. I also live two seconds. Yep, I know you do. That's what I said. So yeah. I can drive you in my car. I can drive your car. I can get you an Uber or you can walk. What would you like to do? Those are the presented options. What are the other options? That's those are all the options. Either those way you're not driving. Either way I'm not letting you drive. If you get into the driver's not side. Letting you drive. No. Why are you so concerned? I don't want you to hurt I yourself. Do. You can't even stand. No, I'm fine. You were wobbling visibly. You're I just actually watched you very concerned about me and I understand that. I appreciate that. Yeah. But I am very in control of what I'm doing right now. You are not. I just watched actually, you actually, piss yeah. in the middle of a plaza. No, I did that because I had to piss. So I'm but willing to help you, you but do? what would you like to, oh, how would cool. you like to get home? What I would like to do right now. Yes. Is get to know, know you a little better because you're pretty attractive. This woman tries to help an intoxicated man and stop him from driving home drunk. I don't have time to get to know you right the second, but I would like to help you get home. So do you want the options again? What I'm going to say to you is that I don't need you to help. I'm gonna, because I'm not gonna let you get, if you get into the driver's side of your car right now, I'm gonna take a picture of your license plate and I'm gonna call the police. Why would you do that? Or I can drive. I have a very short distance to drive. I know, that's all it takes actually. 90% of accidents happen within five minutes of your house. Oh my goodness. You are wobbling everywhere. So, so how would you like to proceed? Well, I would like to proceed. I can just get you an Uber if you want. I'll just walk away. You wanna just walk home? I don't wanna or hang out with you. Why? I would, I would like, like to get you, I don't <laughs> think this was a cool? great first impression, but um, I'd like to see you get home safely. So what's the next, like what do we do? Oh, I get, look, I'm not very accustomed to having pretty little women control my life for me. Okay. I understand what you're trying to do and I appreciate that you're trying to make the road safe. Yeah. I would like to tell you yes. that I'm the best driver in the GTA. Okay. That's great. Sober. Like, honestly? No, no, no. Like, sober or not. Like, these guys are I'm pretty safe. Okay, so let's pretend everybody else is bad drivers. Honestly, you You're like me. I, I don't. I don't have any feelings towards you. I would just like you <laughs> to get home. Like, like, uh, you know? <laughs> okay, my name's Kaylee. Kaylee. And uh, here uh, are your options again. I will either drive you home. Yeah. I will drive your car home. Those I are will, the options you're presenting me. I have right. so many. You can walk home. Yeah, you go take a walk and you'll eventually get bored and you'll go home and do what I want to do. Not if I just call your plate in in the car and rate the second. I could just go leave. Ahead. I go could ahead. just leave. It's just a plate on a car. No, no. They'll pull up your address and they'll meet you at your house. This is what's going to happen. You won't be able to go home. As you just saw, I did threaten to call the police. That was one of the options. I took a picture of his license plate right in front of him. I took a picture of him. I told him the consequences of drinking and driving. He didn't care. I wanted to try and help first. Did he deserve it? No, but I wanted to try. But dude, you're okay. wasted. I'm not. You are like truly wasted. You think I'm wasted? You are wasted. Why do you think that? I visibly, you are wasted. Really wasted? What's my name? Your name's Kaylee. Oh, good job. That was three times I told you. You like me. Don't I, do, I don't. I promise I don't secretly have feelings for you. Then so why are you so Because I watched you try to get in your driver's side immediately after watching you piss in the plaza. And I watched you stumble to your door and I can't let you get in you your car a like that. You died in a DUI or something? I just, you know what? I'm just a nice person. And I just want to do the right thing in this situation. So no, how I can I help? That. How okay. can I help? What can you I do to help? To. I'm gonna. No, because look, I can get to my place. I've done this several times. You've done this several times, get eh? To my house. The any situations occurring. Okay. So time's a ticking. How would you like to get home? It's not gonna be via you driving that car. I'm not going Why to allow so it. Concerned? I'm not going to allow it. So what would you like to do? So you're not usually concerned with most people. I'm usually you're, concerned with most you're people, concerned yes. You're concerned with me right now because you think it's safe. Okay. What's your address? Next you're, building. Next building? You're gonna direct me? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? What's my name? Yeah. It's uh, Layla. Layla, that's a very beautiful name. Thank you. Tried. 
tried to offer to drive him home. He was not having it. He's right there. He wasn't aggressive, he wasn't mean. He actually seemed like he was having a good day, but he would not take any of my options. He said if I got him an Uber, that he was just going to get out and walk back. Obviously, by the end, I had no choice. I just had to call the police. I waited until they got there. Obviously, I need to stop putting strangers in my car. Okay, I get it, but I feel like this was a good example of try to be nice first, try not to judge, try not to be a Karen. I did not want to call the police on that guy. I just wanted to get him home and he wasn't having it. Even when he got in my car, it was basically just for us to sit there and talk. Like he was not going to give me directions or his address. So I had no choice. I left when the police got there. I have no idea what happened. I was simply walking out of a convenience store, saw someone pissing in the parking lot, and then watched him try and get in his car very poorly. I hope he got home safe, and I will take the feedback seriously and stop putting strangers in my car. Thank you. You can really tell that woman was trying to do what she thought was best by offering to drive him home and hopefully prevent an accident from happening. But at the same time, it's so dangerous for her to be alone in a car with a stranger. It seems she's learnt from that mistake though, and won't put herself in a vulnerable position again in the future. I think she did the right thing by calling the police and telling them his number plate. Hopefully this guy will think before getting himself in another situation like this. It's so important to raise awareness of this issue. Especially as it's coming around to the summertime and the weather's getting hotter, people might think it's okay to have a couple of drinks in the sunshine and then drive home, but it's never safe and you never know what could happen. One person summed it up well, saying, I can't believe you actually approached a stranger and did this. You're really an amazing person. Thank you for trying. Could have said it better myself.